Hello everyone, this is Joy of Joy's DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making this beautiful candle holder. The list of materials used for this DIY project will be listed in the description box below. I hope you enjoy the video, so let's get started in this DIY. I'm going to apply the ribbon around the base. Okay, so, all right, let's get started. So, first thing you're going to do is not get the glue on your hand. That's the first thing you're going to do. So, first thing I'm going to do, I already cleaned my glass, so I'm going to turn it over on its side. I'm going to apply a generous amount of the Mod Podge onto the base on one side. Of course, I went a little bit wider. Um, wasn't supposed to, but I'm going to apply a generous amount of the Mod Podge here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to lay the ribbon onto the Mod Podge just like that so that's what we're going to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around all four sides I'm going to sit my glass up straight so you can see it. and I'm going to go around all four sides and again you want to put a generous amount because you want the mosh posh, you want the ribbon to stick. So don't worry about putting too much, you want the ribbon to be able to stick to the mosh posh and the mosh posh not fall off while you're working. So you want to put a generous amount on there on all four sides. This is pretty much what it's going to look like. As you can see, my sides are popping up, but it's going to be okay because once we add the, uh, the other layer on there, it's going to stick. So my top portion that I already did on this side is already dry. So, um, well, drying, should I say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around here. So you can see here. Now I'm going to sit it up this way. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to add Mod Podge here. Okay. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it right here on the edge. So it lays that other piece down. Just like that. It's possible because you want it to be tight. So once you get all your layers on, you're going to go over it with more Mod Podge to make sure it seals. So I'm going to go over it with more Mod Podge. I'm going to go in. I'm going to cut the rest of my lace ribbon for the next um, candle holder. And then I'll come back and show you that completed in the candle holder. So um, this is what your pieces should look like, both of them. And these are very heavy. So this is what they should look like, okay? So now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some embellishments. Now these embellishments, I purchased these at a dollar store in my area. It's called Dollar, dollar Days or something like that. But you can use any type of embellishments that you want. I'm gonna use these. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them on the top and the bottom of this candle holder just to give it some decoration so this is what it should look like all right so now what I'm gonna do these are some embellishments that I made um, they came from a Christmas ornament that was a crown and I just took the crown apart these are all okay so this is what it looks like with the embellishments on it here. Okay. And the next step is to let me adjust this a little bit. Okay, so the next step is to add your candlestick holder to the bottom of the of uh, the base. So I've already done one and I'm using E6000 no hot glue. Um, so I'm gonna let this one move this over and let this one dry. 
and of course you're gonna let that dry for at least 30 minutes before we bother it again. So now I'm gonna turn this one over. I'm gonna grab my canvas decoder. I'm gonna clean my glass again. Just regular rag with some alcohol on it. Clean the surface where I'm going to apply the glue. Okay, I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to cover this entire surface. I'm going to put a generous amount. And I want to make sure that it's sealed all around the edge and on the entire surface. Well, this one I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue on because the other one, um, my floor where I'm working at is not level. So it was sliding, so I had to hold it for a while. So I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue and hopefully it won't move. Okay, you're gonna take this, turn it over, try to center it. I'm gonna stand up so I can center it. and I place it down. Okay, so we got that one and this one is a sliding because I did add the hot glue. So, okay, so once your piece is dry, this is what it should look like. But mine isn't dry, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Oh, no. Okay. So what I did, I flipped it over because these bases are really heavy, so I wanted the weight from the base onto the candlestick holder to um, help secure the seal underneath here. So um, that's why I'm showing you that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry, and again, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these. Side, where's the camera, sorry very bad with this. I can't use my back camera because it's broken but if you can see it I already put one in here and we're going to place that in with um, E6000 and just a tad bit of hot glue just to keep it in position. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up a little bit and if you can see here my hand is in here this is where we're going to place this this little Voter folder. It's going to go in here. It's going to make sure it's centered even with the bottom of your candle holder, and that's where it's going to sit at. So I'll show you that once they're dry, and um, then we can go ahead and start decorating with them. And here is the finished project. I think they came out absolutely gorgeous. It was just the right amount of bling for my mantle in my living room. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and share my channel with your friends and family. If you would like to be notified of my next uploaded video, please hit that uh, notification bell and you will be notified when the video hits. I want to thank you once again for tuning in to Joy's DIYs. I hope to see you back and until next time, God bless and remember, let the joy begin.